All right, we have some new features on the tick management tool. So I'd like to introduce those to you. If you have not watched the full video yet, the full video on, on the money management and how that incorporates with this tool, my tick management tool, go check out that video. I'll have a link right here in the comments. There will be a little pop up right above that you can click and watch that video. This is just going to go into a couple of the new features. I've had a couple feature requests and also I built in a safety net. This thing is incredible. Okay, so I'm going to explain that real quick. As you can see here on this chart, we have the, the tick management tool is showing my PL in the form of ticks. What you can do is you can go into the tool, into the settings. Now you can track your points you can calculate it in points that I did have some people requesting that change because they um, you know I personally track my ticks some people track their points totally okay and now you can do that with this tool ticks or points okay that is the first feature a new feature update the other is I included a safety net right here we have a button says flatten before disconnect. This is crucial if you trade multiple accounts, which I know most of us do because we love the trade copier to multiply our profits, right? So what you're going to want to do because there are times that the trade copier, any trade copier can enter us into trades that we don't want to. Many people have seen it. So for example, if it hits your stop, and you had some orders that were skipped before that happened, then it could enter you into a trade in the opposite direction. It would be terrible to hit your tick limit or point limit that you set for yourself, right? It hits that limit if you, uh, your, your trade is flat, so basically you're out of the trade, hits that, the tool detects you've hit your limit for the day, you should stop trading, disconnects you but in fact when that happened it put you into a tr trade the copier puts you into a trade in the opposite position or you have a phantom ghost trade out there somewhere a pending trade and you don't know it but you're disconnected from data okay this safety feature is going to eliminate that problem and it works flawlessly okay what it's going to do is before it disconnects from any data it's going to ensure all of your positions are flat it is closed and no matter what account multiple accounts any position you have that's connected to your data source it will go flat before it disconnects okay then this other one here is a delay and disconnect you can change that as well so instead of it disconnecting instantly you can put a two or three second whatever however many you want I don't recommend going more than three seconds because that defeats the purpose, but you can set a two or three second delay. That way you can just check your positions tab. Once your, your trade exits, check your positions tab, ensure all trades are flat, and then just allow it to disconnect. You can do that in two or three seconds. Um, if, if you want, if you have a bad problem of just hopping right back into a trade and not following your rules, you might want to leave that at zero. No matter what happens, as long as you have this flatten before disconnect checked, it will not disconnect you from data until it ensures all positions are flat. So let's show you what that looks like. First of all, I need to set this to one tick. That way we can trigger this thing. Okay. As you can see, I have a trade, two charts here. And, you know, for example, this could be if you have a trade copier. Um, so you can see I have SIM 101, SIM 102 up here, two separate positions. Um, and typically if you're trade, if you're doing a trade copy, it'll be the exact same position or really close. But what I want to point out is two separate accounts. This is crucial. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this trade and it's gonna detect that I am above the threshold of tick limit and it's keep your eye on positions here. So I'm gonna close. Or order filled. There it went, it flattened all the positions. Now it's gonna give it three seconds and look at the green button here, it will disconnect. There it goes, disconnected from data. I absolutely cannot select any accounts at all to trade. <laughs> Can't do it, it won't let me. If I try to reconnect, try to reconnect, and disconnect it again. I can't trade, okay? So that is, and in this case, I set my profit target to, you know, one tick and says stop trading. If you were in the negative, it'd say stop trading. So that is the key features, the key new updates, okay? Once again, you can also go to futuresniperbeast.com to check out the info about this tool check out the in-depth tutorial where I go into money management and take a look at it. I think this tool, I developed this because I needed this and I think this is an invaluable tool, right? If it saves you from breaking your rules just one time, just one time, this tool is worth it because we all know how emotions can take us over and this tool removes that. So take a look. Go to futuresniperbeast.com. Let's actually pull this up for you so you can see exactly where to go. Futuresniperbeast.com, trading tools, tick management tool. Hit that button there. Read about it. Watch this little four minute video of how all the features work. Click here for an in-depth tutorial with my free money management spreadsheet calculator that I include, okay? And just scroll down. I wanna point out too, if you scroll all the way down, we have an FAQ right here. So make sure and read these, okay? And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. All right, I hope you grab this and I hope it helps you and have a great one.